Well, if you've ever found yourself saying, I just couldn't help myself when you ate too much of the wrong food, you just might be right. These companies rely on deep science and pure science to understand how we're attracted to food and how they can make their foods attractive to us. There's science behind that crunch. Yogurt feels that way in your mouth for a reason. The food industry is even researching the connection between the taste receptors on your tongue and the corresponding chemical reaction in your brain. The result, carefully engineered combinations of salt, sugar, fat and chemicals deliberately designed so you can't eat just one. Michael Moss spent four years investigating the science behind processed food. I was totally surprised. I spent time with the top scientists at the largest companies in this country, and it's amazing how much math and science and regression analysis and energy they put into finding the very perfect amount of salt, sugar, and fat in their products that'll send us over the moon. A search through a database of scientific papers and food industry patents reveals the extent of the science behind food engineering. Chemistry, physics, biology, all commandeered into the service of making profitable food. Here's a process for enhancing the cheese flavor without the cheese, where starting materials are proteins and fats, which means the amount of expensive cheese can be reduced substantially. And if they can replicate that chemical reaction that may happen on your tongue or an aroma, uh, they can simulate the taste of something without it being at all real. That the food processing industry rests on three pillars, salt, sugar, and fat. Well, these are the holy trinity of processed foods. Back for more. The food industry depends on it. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.